Hello everyone. Welcome to Study IQ. In this video, we'll do the current affairs of 18th of February. So let's start the video. First, let's start the quiz. Pandit Shiv Sharma, he plays which musical instrument? He is a very renowned, um, you know, he's a musician. And in fact, his son Rahul Sharma also plays this musical instrument. Which musical instrument are we talking about? National Women's Day is observed annually on whose birthday? Whose birthday do we celebrate as National Women's Day? Let me give you a hint. She was known as the Nightingale of India because her poems were very popular throughout the world. INS Shivaji. This is a ship, Indian naval ship. Shivaji received which honor recently? INS Shivaji received which honor recently? Wendell Rodericks passed away recently. He was related to which field? Wendell Rodericks was a big name in which industry? He was 59 years old from Goa. India will conduct joint hydrographic survey with which country? Joint hydrographic survey. Why was this gentleman in news? Rishi Sunak. Rishi Sunak, why was he in news? You can skip this question because I already discussed this question in the last video. First mega food park of Gujarat was opened in which district? First mega food park of Gujarat. Kigali is the capital of which country? Kigali. Maitri was conducted at which place? Maitri is a military exercise between India and Thailand. It was conducted at which location? A. Surya Prakash retired from the position of chairman of which organization? He was the chairman of which organization? He retired recently. A. Surya Prakash had a long career. Dalila Muhammad, she is a 400 meter hurdle specialist. In fact, she won the gold medal in the World Athletics Championship. She is from which country? Dalila Muhammad. Augusta Masters, Augusta Masters, this title is related to which sport? In fact, if you win Augusta Masters, you get a beautiful green jacket. Very, very special. Uh, one of the biggest tournaments in the world for this sport. Which sport? Where is the headquarter of Karnataka Vikas Gramin Bank? KVGB. Karnataka Vikas Gramin Bank is headquartered in which city? Which company launched We Think Digital program for digital transformation, digital literacy? Basically, providing Indians digital literacy. We think digital. This is a program of which multinational company? Who is the governor of Punjab? Long time governor now for I think four years now. Uh, Punjab governor has not changed. What is his name? National Institute for Financial Management and IFM Faridabad. It will be renamed after which person? The, the clue is in the name itself. National Institute of Financial Management. What is the motive on a 50 rupee banknote? Basically on the reverse side of the 50 rupee banknote, what will you find? I'm talking about the new 50 rupee banknote that was published two years back. What will you find on the back side? Amarjit Singh Kiam is associated with which sport? In fact, uh, he is often mentioned in the newspapers because of his exceptional performances in the last six months. He is a rising star. Amarjit Singh Kiam. Prayut Chanocha, he is the prime minister of which country? Prayut Chanocha, one of our not immediate neighbors, but okay, um, part of the look east now called act east policy. So you want to know the answers? I'm sure you do. So let's start. Pandit Shiv Sharma, he plays Santur. So Santur is a musical instrument where, uh, I mean, just Google it to find out how it looks. It's difficult to explain it. It's like a box. In that box, there are various strings and a person holds some key like thing in his hand in both hands and he plays. So Santur, Pandit Shiv Sharma and his son Rahul Sharma, they both play Santur. National Women's Day is the birthday of Sarojini Naidu. Sarojini Naidu. INS Shivaji got President's Colors. President's Colors. Wendell Rodericks, he was a fashion designer. One of the most renowned fashion designers of the world, not just India. India will conduct hydrographic survey with Sri Lanka. In fact, Sri Lanka is the only country with which India has a sea border, you know, sea border. 
and uh, yeah the border basically is called Park Strait there is no official name for it but we call it Park Strait Rishi Sunak has become the finance minister of uh, Britain and uh, he uh, is son-in-law of Narayan Murthy the co-founder of Infosys Rishi Sunak first mega food park of Gujarat was opened in Surat Surat is called the city of diamonds located on the bank of the Tapi river Kigali is the capital of Rwanda, not Uganda. Uganda's capital is Kampala. I'm talking about Rwanda. Maitri 2019 was conducted in Umroi. And Umroi, of course, is in Meghalaya. Even if you know Meghalaya, it's good enough. You don't need to know Umroi. But okay, Umroi, Meghalaya. A. Surya Prakash was the chairman of Prasar Bharti. Prasar Bharti is the parent organization behind the government channels like Doordarshan. Dalila Muhammad is a 400 meter hurdle specialist from America. Augusta Masters title is related to golf. G-O-L-F golf. Karnataka Vikas Gramin Bank. It is headquartered in Dharwad in Karnataka. Dharwad. We think digital is a digital literacy program of Facebook. Facebook. Punjab governor is V.P. Singh Badnore. V.P. Singh Badnore. NIFM Faridabad will be named after Arun Jetli. Arun Jetli. The motif on 50 rupee banknote is Hampi Chariot. Actually, Hampi is a group of temples in uh, Karnataka. It's a world heritage site. And the main chariot is located on the 50 rupee banknote on the back side. Amarjit Singh Kiam is a rising star of the Indian football team. In fact, he has a fairy tale uh, journey so far. He was a part of the junior team. He performed so well that now he is playing for the senior team in just a span of 18 months. So Amarjit Singh Kiam is a football player. Prayut Chanocha is the Prime Minister of Thailand. ASEAN country, Thailand. Okay. Lifelong Online has appointed which person as the brand ambassador for its fitness category? Brand ambassador for fitness category is Melin Soman. Very fit person. I'm saying this because he completed the triathlon, uh, Ironman triathlon recently. Ironman. He completed it two years back. So this uh, proves that he is quite fit. Milind Soman. By the way, Milind Soman has recently written his autobiography. Now, can you tell me what is the name of autobiography of Milind Soman that was released recently? And then there is a company called Lotus Herbals. It's a beauty products company. Lotus Herbal has appointed Jacqueline Fernandez as brand ambassador. And Jacqueline Fernandez is originally from Sri Lanka, but she has made good name now in the Bollywood as well. The 7th International Congress of the Society for Ethnopharmacology was held in which city? This was a conference that was held in New Delhi. And what was discussed? The discussion was about herbal industry, the traditional Indian system of medicine. You know, all of these things were discussed here. And in fact, uh, this uh, International Congress in New Delhi was inaugurated by the Minister for Ayush, Shiripad Yasso Nayak. Shiripad Yasso Nayak's constituency is North Goa. Okay, it's North Goa. And there were some awards that were given. You don't need to remember this one or this one. You just need to remember this one. So it is Lifetime Achievement Award. This was given to Dr. Nitya Anand. Dr. Nitya Anand. NBA. NBA is their uh, America's basketball is called NBA, the basketball league. So NBA, National Basketball Association, All-Star Game, Most Valuable Player Award has been permanently named after which person? Basically, uh, the most valuable player is like a man of the series, you know. This award every season now will be named after Kobe Bryant. This award will be given, named after Kobe Bryant, unfortunately died at a very young age and he died in California in a helicopter crash. Entire life he played for Los Angeles Lakers. He was also called the Black Mamba. What is the theme of the BioAsia 2020 Forum which is being held in Hyderabad? First of all, you need to remember that BioAsia Forum is taking place in Hyderabad. And the theme was Today for Tomorrow. Today for Tomorrow. And if, you, if I talk about the biotechnology field, remember one company, Biocon. Biocon chairman is Kiran Majumdar Shaw and Kiran Majumdar Shaw, she recently won two awards. One is Indian Council of Medical Research. They gave her Lifetime Achievement Award, Lifetime Achievement Award by Indian Council of Medical Research. And the second is 
Australia's highest civilian award was given to Kiran Majumdar Shaw. As per the study by International Institute for Strategic Studies, what is the rank of India in the defense expenditure globally? In terms of defense expenditure, number one by far is America, number two is China, number three Saudi Arabia, number four Russia, India is a close fifth to Russia. So America is by far the number one. In fact, America spends 684 billion dollars every year on defense 684 billion dollars and china spends 181 billion dollar and china is second so you can see america spends like what four times or uh, almost uh, the what china spends on military america is by far the i mean the military powerhouse of the world india is at fifth position and this was given by this report was given by institute for strategic studies Mobile World Congress. Every year it takes place, right? Mobile World Congress. Now this year it has been cancelled because of the fear of coronavirus. Because whenever there is any congress or any conference, like lakhs of people come there. And even if a few, uh, they are suffering from coronavirus because it's a pan-global audience, you know, that is there. So people will come from China, Hong Kong and I mean, it can be a mess because as such people are very afraid of coronavirus. So where does it take place? So remember, Mobile World Congress takes place every year in Barcelona. Barcelona is a, uh, one of the largest cities of Spain. Spain's capital is Madrid. Goa. So Goa has signed a memorandum of understanding uh, on three things. Education, water and shipbuilding. With which country? Goa was under the Portuguese occupation and therefore, not therefore, but okay, they have signed it with Portugal. Because Portugal president was on a visit to India. Marcelo Rebelo de Sousa. Marcelo Rebelo de Sousa. I am sure by now you must have seen his handshake with PM Modi. Quite a handshake it was. Do check it out on YouTube. So Portugal uh, and Prime Minister of Portugal is Antonio Costa. And the three MOUs are education, water and shipbuilding. Uh, how education? So there is a university in Portugal which is called Coimbra. Coimbra University in uh, Portugal. And there is a university in Goa, GK Kare College. GK Kare College is a law university in Goa. They both will partner and improve each other. Goa's uh, chief minister is Pramod Savant. Pramod Savant is the chief minister of Goa. And India and Portugal, they also signed a memorandum of understanding to develop a world-class National Maritime Heritage Complex at which place? National Maritime Heritage Complex will be set up in the Indus Valley Civilization site of Lothal, which is in Gujarat. And Lothal used to be a very prominent port in the Indus Valley Civilization era. Kashi Mahakal Express will run between Uttar Pradesh and which state? It's a very very important train that has been started. Kashi Mahakal Express will run between UP and MP. Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh. Now it will cover, it will cover three important temples. That is what you need to know. And which are these three temples? Okay. So the first one is the Mahakaleshwar Temple. Mahakaleshwar temple is in Ujjain, which is in Madhya Pradesh. Then the second temple is the Omkareshwar temple. See, in India, there are 12 Jyotirling, 12 Lord Shiva Jyotirling, which are the 12 biggest uh, or the, as they say, the most auspicious and powerful temples of Lord Shiva, 12 Jyotirling. So one is the Mahakaleshwar in Ujjain, located on the bank of the Shipra river in Ujjain. Then is the Omkareshwar, which is near Indore in MP. And the third one is in UP. So that is the Kashi Vishwanath temple. Kashi Vishwanath temple is in Varanasi in UP, right? So these three temples will be connected uh, by this train. When I say connected, it doesn't mean that the train is going outside the temple, but it means that these cities will be connected. So people can have easy access to this temple. So the answer is Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh. Kambala is a traditional sport of which state? So there is a person called Srinivas Gauda. Srinivas Gauda, now he is being compared with Usain Bolt and these uh, sort of people. Srinivas Gauda, he created a world record in Kambala. If I can call it a world record, assuming if Kambala is there in other countries, but it is not. So let's call it national record. Now Kambala is an animal sport. Basically the buffalo's race uh, is called Kambala in Karnataka. So the answer is Karnataka. Every state has its some animal sport. For example, Tamil Nadu has Jalikattu. There is a sport in Tamil Nadu called Jalikattu, which is like, uh, you know, there's this animal which is tamed by a crowd. And then in Andhra, we have cockfighting. Cockfighting is there in Krishna district, West Godavari district. Uh, many districts of Andhra, you will find cockfighting, which is a popular sport. Which country has developed convalescent plasma to treat
patients who are infected with novel coronavirus. So you know that coronavirus is called COVID-19. Coronavirus disease 19 is the official name for the disease caused by coronavirus. Convalescent plasma has been developed by China. How far or how with what efficacy it will work remains to be seen. What was the theme of the 56th Munich Security Conference 2020? See, this was a very important security conference. It was attended by who's of the world. In fact, it was attended by S. J. Shankar from India. He met America's foreign minister also, who is Mike Pompeo. In America, they use the word secretary of state. They don't use the word foreign minister. So he met Mike Pompeo and other people. The theme was westlessness. Westlessness. And Munich is in Germany. It's a very important city in uh, in Germany, Munich. It has some famous football clubs also like Bayern Munich. Now there is a company called Titagard Wagons. This is a name of a company. It's a private company. In fact, it is the only company in India which manufactures research ships. It manufactures research ships. So recently it has delivered second research ship. Delivered to whom? Delivered to NIOT, National Institute for Ocean Technology. Can you tell me where is NIOT? Write down in comments below. And uh, what is the name of the ship? So the first ship that they made was called Sagar Tara. Tara means a star. Sagar Tara. And recently, the second ship that they have made is called Sagar Anveshika. So the answer is C. Sagar Anveshika. Titagard Wagon is a company, private company, which manufactures research vessels. Who has won the Tata Steel PGTI Players Championship 2020? If you see ever the word PG, PG means professional golf. So we are talking about golf. And this tournament was won by Udyan Mane. Udyan Mane is from Maharashtra. He is from Pune. He defeated in the final Veer Elavat of Guru Gram. Right. So this question can be put up. Udyan Mane is associated with which sport? Veer Elavat is associated with which sport? The answer is golf. Microsoft has announced the launch of its third India Development Center in which city? Why third? Because they already have two in Bengaluru and Hyderabad. The third one in coming, is coming up in Noida, which is in UP. Microsoft CEO is Satya Nadella. Debbie Abraham, she was in news recently. She is member of parliament of which country? Actually, Debbie Abraham is a British Labour uh, MP and Labour Party is not in power. So it doesn't matter really like, uh, you know, the Conservative Party is in power. But okay, she uh, was given e-visa by the Indian government, but she was not allowed to enter India. This is what is her version of the story. Indian government is saying that for British nationals, we don't have a concept of e-visa. Now we'll find out in the if there is an investigation who is lying, who is speaking the truth. But the fact is she is a British Labour MP. Richard Branson has approached India to establish a hyperloop transportation system between New Delhi and which city? So hyperloop, well, they were saying we will make a hyperloop between Mumbai and Pune. Then they said we will make a hyperloop between Amritsar and Chandigarh. Now they are saying we will make a hyperloop between Mumbai and Delhi. Now Mumbai and Delhi, they are 1300 kilometers apart. And if reports are to be believed, if hyperloop comes in India, this distance you can travel in 1.5 hours or less. Because the speed of the hyperloop can reach as high as 1200 kilometer an hour. So between Delhi and Mumbai, he is uh, expecting a positive reply from the Indian government. And he discussed the possibility of bringing a hyperloop between New Delhi and Mumbai. And uh, Virgin Atlantic is the name of his company. He is a I mean, very, very rich person, Richard Branson. His autobiography is called Losing My Virginity. This is the name of his autobiography. Which state has announced to give 6 crore rupee to Olympic gold medal winner? Basically, they want to encourage the sportsmen. Now there is an Olympic Games coming up in Tokyo, Summer Olympics. If you win a gold medal, you get 6 crore. If you win an Asian Games gold medal, you get 3 crore. If Commonwealth Games, you get 1.5 crore. So depending on the stature of the tournament you are participating in, will you be given the money by the government of Haryana? In fact, it is the Haryana sportsmen who bring uh, laurels in, uh, in uh, Olympics most of the times. In fact, in last Olympics, if you remember, India won only two medals. One was by PV Sindhu, the silver medal, but the other one was by Haryana wrestler Sakshi Malik. Only two medals. This time we are expecting for a better performance. Which movie has won the best film award at the Amazon Filmfare Award? So Filmfare Awards this time uh, they were hosted in Guwahati in Assam and they were, they were um, what do you say, the main sponsor was Amazon. And Gully Boy won 13 awards. So <laughs> there's this uh, boycott uh, Filmfare that was trending on Twitter yesterday that there's a bias and but then Gully Boy was also the official film to the Oscar. So it's not like uh, it's not on merit. 
and the answer is Gully Boy. And let me tell you, it's become very easy for you now because all the awards are Gully Boy. So best film, Gully Boy. Best director again, Gully Boy, Zoe Akhtar. Zoe Akhtar is of course daughter of uh, daughter of uh, Javed Akhtar and Shabana Azmi. Best actor in a leading role is Ranveer Singh for Gully Boy. Best actor in a leading role, female is Alia Bhatt again for Gully Boy. So it's very easy. But the two awards that are not easy is the Lifetime Achievement Award and Excellence in Cinema Award. Both are different. Lifetime Achievement Award is given to Ramesh Sippy. He is the producer of the movie Shole, the great movie Shole of 1975, I believe. And Excellence in Cinema Award was given to uh, Govinda, the famous actor Govinda. So that's it for 18th of February. I'll see you uh, very soon in the video on 19th of February. God bless you and take care.